Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters. Just a quick personal update. I'm having a scan tonight and tomorrow, a CT scan and an MRI. Just to make sure things are going okay, I, I'm feeling pretty good, you know. I thank you all for your prayers and for being with me my whole walk with Jesus, but in the last year, right, I was dealing with cancer and it's been a very humble thing. Thinking about life and death like that, it's eye-opening and I'm just so grateful to God and to you guys and my family, of course. Anyways, looking at Phoebe Bridgers, who is a famous music artist, there's no signs or symbols in this video, but we can see other ways that are not even very subtle. So. Here's a picture. Is she taking a bite out of the apple, right? The proverbial apple, like in the Garden of Eden. Don't listen to God, says Satan the serpent. Listen to me. You will have eyes to see. You will be as God. Just eat the, take a bite from the apple. And now we live in a fallen world until God takes us home. I see stuff like this pretty often. People are infatuated. They idolize celebrities. They put them on a pedestal. They think these people are like gods, and it's shameful. So instead of Jesus, it's Jesus, right? With Phoebe Bridger's head on, on a worldly version of Jesus' body. She's dressed up as a witch. Maybe it's just Halloween. She's probably just rock and roll, throwing the devil horns up, right? Very subtle, but the shirt she's wearing has an upside-down inverted cross. The shirt she's wearing says Lucifer. You know, Lucifer the light bearer. He's the savior of humanity, really, right? He's not just deceiving everyone, being the father of lies and everything. And she says, at Amoeba Hollywood, please restock my album. And she's looking in the section titled Satan. Very subtle, hey? <laughs> she's hanging out on the Freemason checkerboard, and she's wearing her fake NASA fake space suit, going into fake space. Brothers and sisters, sometimes you don't even need the signs and symbols. You can just tell the way people are. If people are not for Jesus Christ, they are against him. There's a lot of people in the middle, and those people are on their way to hell. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but that's the way things are. We're all a bunch of fallen sinners. Compared to God's ways, we fall so short, it's not even funny. We must know and realize that we're sinners in a sinful world. A lot of us Christians, most of us Christians, I hope, we don't want to be sinners. It pains us. The flesh is weak and we give in and fail sometimes because we live in a world that's just full of sin and temptation. But when we fail, when I fail, I don't feel good about it. I feel shame. And I go to the Lord in confidence. I go to the Lord and say, I'm sorry for this, Lord. Please get me through that. Please make me stronger. I want to be a good and faithful servant, Lord, today and every day forever. Brothers and sisters, everyone watching, I will also say, I don't hate this person. I don't hate any of the people on this channel. I truly don't want these people to go to hell. I don't want anyone to go to hell. But I'm not in charge of that. God is. His ways are perfect and it'll work out. But we must realize we're fallen sinners in a fallen world. We need Jesus. He, he has it all finished for us. We just need to have faith in his finished work. God has grace when we have faith. God bless you, everyone.